And we're back to our wonderful yeah, bullshit... We're back to our wonderful bullshit journey of Pokemon Clover, where nothing is what you would Have expect. Have you seen the to berry be. trees yet? I heard the berries go back one hour if you pick them. Oh yeah, so last time we were playing I mentioned this and I'm going to do it again because that's gone now. Yep. But um, in our, the original uh, Ruby and Sapphire, uh, there was a glitch where after your first year, and this was like Internal Clock's first year, uh, the, there was a glitch that would prevent the berries from growing properly. And uh, this was actually one of the first recorded instances of a game being patched. But you had to take your cartridge to a Nintendo event. Oh my god. To get the game patched. Uh, it could also be patched if you ever got any event Pokemon for that generation. That's brutal though. So basically, if you want to start uh, competitively playing Ruby and Sapphire, you either need to husband your berries very closely, or you need to have a cartridge that isn't bugged that you can trade Pokemon carrying berries over to yourself with. Pretty much. I mean, the other alternative is that you have to emulate it and hope that the emulator has a pre-programmed patch. That, or continue futzing with your internal clock to make sure it never passes a year. That too. There's a whole bunch of ways around it, I guess. It's They're just, just all inconvenient. Yeah, yeah. You just use the animal I can't passing. imagine anyone would want to play uh, the NPC fucking game, like... This, like, six... Oh, how many generations ago was uh, that one? Ruby and Sapphire was Gen 4, because 5 was Black and White and Black and White 2, 6 was X and Y, and 7 Sun and Moon. Yeah. So that's... Wait, was Ruby and Sapphire before Diamond and Pearl? Yeah, they were 3. Oh, shit, yeah, Gen 3. Fuck. Yeah, so they're, like, almost 5 generations old soon. Well, some people still do play them competitively, like the old generations. Oh, is it like those foul-smelling monsters that still play, uh... Melee competitively? Yeah, pretty much. Then again, those most... awful degenerate sewer monsters. <laughs> They're afraid of soap. They refuse to bathe. Yeah. Whenever there's a casual Smash tournament, they phone in and complain about how it's casual and not catered to professionals. Mm -hmm. Like, legitimately, I have heard horror stories from my old university. About... Our university. Yeah, our, our old university, where they're holding casual Smash events, and people call in asking about the prize pool. Like, fuck off, it's a casual event. And then they're like, well, why would you have a Smash event and no prize pool? Because we're having fun, you knob. Where oh, talk it? to that yellow-hatted kid. Yeah, I know, I just want to fucking heal up first and get all my ducks on the line. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back now? This is what this is good for. <laughs> yeah, that's what super speed is good for. Talk to the kid in yellow. And there's the counter. We'll heal your Pokemon back to health. Free you. Man, free health care sure is great. This is how Bernie can still win, guys. Do you know what the difference between toilet paper and a carpet? No. It was you! <laughs> Good for you, I guess. Whippersnappers of today are all too lackadaisical. All they do is stay inside and play those damn video games. And it hits pretty close to home, old man. Yeah. Rocks and rocks and glass houses, man. So this is Vitya City? I thought this place was supposed to be known for its video games, though. Yeah, I don't see any video games. Jay, we're looking at a video game right now, you stupid fuck. <laughs> this whole town is part of a video game. It doesn't contain video games. That's too meta. Our right. gym leader is a very famous musician. Everybody listens to his tracks. Even the other gym leaders. The gym is closed? Don't worry. After you play his newest track seven times, he'll come. What is that a reference to? The fact that we have to beat seven other gym leaders all uh... of whom are playing his music. Okay. Hey, do you like Sonic? Tell yes. him no. Great, this thing will make your Pokemon go faster. I forgot to tell him no, because I wanted a quick claw. <laughs> Gotta go fast, go to the, go to the mart. Yeah, I know. Hold on. You wanna know about your two kids you can't fill Pokemon? Yeah. Curry Crawl has no electricity, but Larva does does. So watch your Pokemon don't get zapped. That's super weird. The one that sounds like current has no electricity. I think that was a joke. Could be. My daddy loves Pokemon! To tweet. Fair enough. This game's a bunch of diarrhea dog shit covered in future piss. I'd rather circumcise a rabid cat than play this garbage. What were they thinking? What a shitload of fuck. Fuck you, angry video game nerd. <laughs> oh, did you know that he moved recently? How do you know that? Uh, well, like, okay, why did he move recently? Okay, well, the, um, basically, uh, 
people got a little bit concerned when we saw some J uh, JPEG artifacting around the back of his house. Hey, you came to visit your town? Or around the backdrop, right? Right. So what happened was, uh, turns out he was moving, and people confirmed it because they found a listing for his house that included a picture of his basement in it. His order came in. Can you take it to him? So yeah, someone out there is now living in a piece of video gaming history, and they might not know about it. You should try a Wonder Trade sometime. It's pretty fun when you don't keep getting a level 3 score wrap. Has Pokemon Sage come out yet? It feels like it's been forever. Which one was Sage? That was another one of the fan stuff, right? I, I think it's a joke, because, like, Clover and Sage would be the version. Oh, versions, right? that makes sense. Anyway, also, I want to point out this the music here. Oh yeah. It, it's heavily inspired by the Wii Shop theme. It, it, it's pretty much the Wii Shop theme. No, don't fucking piss on my leg and call it rainwater. Also, I like that this music was inspired by, I think, straight up Diamond and Pearl music. Kinda huh, neat. This Route 1 song. Okay. So, Kangeon is supposed to be a fried chicken Pokemon, but I really don't see it. Like, I get that it's brown and fried chicken is brown, but, like, I don't know. It just doesn't look like it's made of drumsticks. Maybe I'm just too picky of this free fan-made game. Yeah, thank you, Hilfer. Thank you. Arabob, go! Also, I'm Incinerate pretty- Incinerate the Unbeliever! <laughs> Push the fairy types off of a tall building. <laughs> and then the news media in other countries will deny it. Yeah. Oh man, actually speaking of uh, conspiracy theories in the news media, have you heard the theory that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is dead? I have, but for the sake of this bit, I'm going to say no. Okay. <laughs> Basically, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg recently had like lung cancer or some shit and uh, had to go through a life-saving operation in order to uh, not die. Um, and she has not appeared in public in about 30 days, which prompted a whole bunch of people to suspect that she's dead and the Democrats are trying to hide it. Uh, to which I think that is the dumbest Beautiful. thing anyone could possibly do, because you'd have to hide that she's dead all the way- Aw, oh, Chungle, how's that Pokemon? Ah, looks like you. Must be a pretty good training. It looks like me! Oh, whoops! <laughs> I, th I think I read that wrong. I think so. <laughs> What's that? You got something for me? <laughs> yeah, Jay Arabom looks just like you. Ah, it's my fancy ass new aluminum peg leg. <laughs> I bought this shit on Amazon like a week ago. Overnight delivery, my ass. <laughs> Thanks, so kid. Dude, you're I know. I'm fucking drinking. Fuck, trying to do my germ work, her voice kills me. What do you want from me for? <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a job for you two. On the desk over there at Pokedex, as I ordered, it automatically records data on the Pokemon you see your cut. Do you think the fact that he looks like Danny DeVito was any relation to the music playing? Maybe. I'm giving you these two because I got an email a week ago from the International Pokemon Research Committee saying they ain't got jack shit a date on 4chan's Pokemon. Apparently the people in this region were too much of lazy fucks that they never did a species survey. The shit I gotta put up with. Anyway, Jungle, Fedora, take these with you. I really want... A Pokemon game to just straight acknowledge. You can't get detailed data by Pokemon just by looking at them. You gotta cache them to complete the data. So here, here, here are some balls. Fuck. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, though. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You gotta be lucky. Now, from what I hear, there's something like 250 Pokemon in this region. Yeah, that's right. I want you two to catch them all. Nah, I would do this myself, but I'm an old crippled bastard. So I want you to get this done for me. Get moving, you two. And hurry, because Dr. Pomfret's gonna dock my pay again. I don't see why I should help, but I'll play along just this once. 
Jungle, such a simple task is something I alone can accomplish. I must also become the best trainer I can become, so that one day, I'll crush my thigh. Farewell, Jungle. Farewell, Stump. I hope you get hit by a train. Yeah, me too. Pokemon around the world wait for you, Jungle. Go talk to his wife to get the map. Yep. But yeah, the whole Ruth Bader Ginsburg conspiracy, I absolutely love how absurd it's getting. Like, um, there was, uh... She's got a hot wife. She's a fucking... She's ten pixels tall, Jay. Yeah, that's enough. I guess you like them short. Anyway, um... Like, there was a recent public appearance of, of Ruth Bader Ginsburg at a musical called The Notorious RBG, which is based on her life. But no pictures and no video were allowed, and the only people in attendance were leftists. And uh, they didn't announce her presence, so most people who went didn't even know she was there. So the conspiracy theorists aren't counting that as a public appearance. And to be fair, I, mean, I don't count that as a yeah, public I... appearance either, because the public didn't see her appear. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. Yeah. Not on whether or not she's alive or dead, but on the genuine fact that if no one saw her... Like, the motive for the... The tree falling in the woods thing. Yeah. Like, the, the motive for the conspiracy theory seems to be that um, if Ruth Bader Ginsburg survives until far enough into 2020, uh, that means that the Democrats... Think it'll live? No, it won't. Think I can catch it? Probably not. You only have five Pokeballs, Jay. Yeah. Fuck it. You're but... a statistic. <laughs> just tail whip the next one and then tackle it but uh basically the idea is that uh Ruth bring Bader me Ginsburg another is dead and the democrats will keep lying about it for a year and a half in order to prevent trump from appointing another supreme court justice see it's getting crazy enough in the states that i would almost believe that i don't think that's like a thing like it, it's not uh it's too dumb to try and convince someone that, uh, try and convince the world that someone is alive for a year and a half. I would have said the exact having same thing if you work. told me the guy from the fucking 90s television would be president. Yeah, that's true. Like, two years ago, if you told me Trump would actually have won, I wouldn't have believed you. People year and a half, I wouldn't have taken that more seriously. Yep. People, people, uh, were betting at, like, 50 to 1 odds that Trump would win. It was great. Like... I think initially it was 56 or something to 1 for Vegas odds for Trump winning back before he was the Republican nominee and everyone thought it was the joke bet and then there was some dude on 4chan who posted that he bet like a thousand dollars on Trump during the election he posted the receipt so it's, he won like 50 grand off of Trump winning Jesus Christ I know right he won like Christ, he won in some states a year's wage off that. Yeah. Game. Yeah, he did. I can't tell if that's a bigger joke. Also, I love how the bag says Top Keck. Yep. But yeah, uh, very few people predicted a Trump victory. Yeah, Kengian was caught. That's Pokemon number two, Jay. Only, four only 248 to go. Alright. <laughs> yeah, level 10. Ooh. Yeah, smoke screen, a genuine blight. Kengion uses its tasty odor to attract prey. Once the prey is near, it strikes with a powerful peck. It is the fried chicken Pokemon. Its height is one foot. I can't tell if that's bigger. Oh, well, that's twelve inches, Jay. I know how big that's it is. That's roughly just... the size of my penis. <laughs> so I mean, it, it, it's pretty huge. <laughs> I'm just starting to think. Massive, that. some might say. Awe-inspiring. <laughs> you were just waiting for this setup, weren't you? <laughs> no. On it, I, I, I wish I'd planned that. I wish I was that smart. <laughs> no, instead you just have that 12-foot slot. <laughs> 12 feet. <laughs> I walk into the room, get an erection, and knock out seven people. <laughs> Gets confused for a python at the local zoo. <laughs> <system. laughs> uh, anyway, um, part of this Ruth Bader Ginsburg conspiracy now is that they have an animatronic in the works that they're gonna have impersonate her until a Democratic president is elected, which will be at minimum a year and a half from now. This reminds me of the. Do you remember? Um... That one time uh, Hillary Clinton, like, passed out uh, at a rally, 
And then, like... Everyone thought she got replaced? Yeah, because for the rest of the day, they... Like, when she was appearing, she had, like, the sunglasses on. Yep. And was in a different... Like, like looked notably different. Anyways, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye, everybody. Bye.